Praise the Lord. We are happy that you are here tonight in the household of the Lord. And we pray, as always, on Wednesday night, that it will be your filler station. That you will be here and be encouraged and be full of the Holy Spirit so you can go out back into the real world Amen. and live it out. Amen. 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 Bethlehem. Amen. That is our theme for 2013. Our theme for 2013, we're standing on 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, which reads, For the time has come for judgment to begin in the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will it be to the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? So this whole entire year, we're going to get it right before our Heavenly Father. We're going get it, to get it right uh, as we go forward. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, this month... We're talking about getting it right in ministry. Getting it right in ministry. And before we install our ministers, oh, I said ministers, well, everybody's a minister. You right. right. That's He's right. right. That's right. The Holy Spirit's talking sometimes, I don't understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so before we install our leaders this year, uh, we want to make sure that you have a servant attitude. All right. right. And that's the only way you can get it right in the ministry is that you've got to know who you are and what position you hold in order to get it right. And Luke chapter 22, we're standing on this all month long. Leaders memorize this text, 22, 27. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one who is at the table? But I am among you as one who what? Who serves. serves. Who serves. And we want to install leaders with a servant mindset. With a servant mindset. And not only that, but we also want to challenge this month all members who do not have a ministry. Uh, we have to remind you that you were saved to serve. You were saved to serve. There's some way that you should be serving the Lord. And, and prayerfully throughout this month, God will call you or be calling you to get involved in a ministry here at Bethlehem. Amen? Amen. Amen. But you'll have a servant's heart, a servant's mindset. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, and this is just showing you what we have coming up for the rest of the month this Sunday, getting it right in position. I want you to do some forward work. First Corinthians chapter 12. Look at that. Look at that. But we're going to go on tonight. And we're going to be looking at Galatians chapter 7, uh, chapter 6, verses 7 through 10. Amen? Amen. We want you to read this out loud together at the same time on three. It's in your handouts as well as on the screen. Um, let's read it. One, two, three. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reap what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap our harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Amen. You may be seated in the household of the Lord, and tonight we're sharing a message entitled, Getting It Right in Hope. Getting It Right in Hope. Getting It Right in Hope. And we're going to talk all around three points as the Holy Spirit gives us utterance. We're going to talk about reap right. We're going to tell you and talk about render right. We want you to know that there is a reward right. Reap right, render right, there is a reward right. And we want Christians to know tonight that Christians should serve God faithfully to reap a good reward. Christians should serve God faithfully to reap 
a good reward. And let me put this in here because this whole month is geared towards leaders, and we're going to listen to what God is saying to the leaders to read or to and, and render some of the stuff for our own personal life, even if we're not in a position of leadership. But Christian leaders should serve God faithfully to reap a good reward. To reap a good reward. There's a concept in our community today that is directly opposite of what I believe the Bible says, but even Christians now are using this term, and it's called karma. Karma. And it's a, a term from Hinduism or Buddhism, and it, 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 it basically has somewhat of a meaning that in the text that we're going to uh, look at tonight about reaping and sowing, but uh, people in our community call it karma, that if you do something bad, bad is going to happen to you. If you do something good, good is going to happen to you. And uh, But of course, as Christians, we don't believe these Buddhist principles, so if you're using that term, karma, take it out of your vocabulary because it's not a Christian term. Right. Grandmama Nam just used to, used to say that you're going to reap Amen. what you sow. Yeah. And, and, and that's a biblical term. That's a biblical term. You're going to reap uh, what you sow. Uh, biblical term. <coughs> so if you're going to reap what you sow, then you got to do first you got to learn to reap right. right. Hello, somebody. Right, right. Reap right. Reap right. right. Reap right. And we're talking to leaders, but we're talking to all Christians as well because you're going to sow what you reap. Right. You're going to reap what you sow. And we want to encourage leaders uh, uh, to sow not to the flesh, because some leaders are sowing to the flesh. Come on, Doc. All right, Man. Right. Hello, somebody. Right, right, right. Uh, right, right. I had an experience coming here today and, and coming to a spiritual task. <coughs> the devil tempted me tonight to be mad about a circumstance, and I and I had to think and I had to pray, Lord, I I can't get up in this pulpit mad about what's supposed to be holy, the things of holiness. Right. I, I can't do it because if I do, I will I will be up here preaching mad and angry. Well, Hello, way. somebody. <laughs> Knock a book upside the head. <laughs> when, 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 when this is a spiritual entity and, 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 and spiritual work must be done even when you stand in the pulpit, and you've got to preach in the spirit and not preach in the flesh. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. And we have some leaders who are up in the church and they're leading in the flesh. Oh, what, what? Hello, somebody. Oh. And, and, and this is a spiritual entity and, and they're trying to bring corporate concepts into the church house. Hello, somebody. And, 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 but that corporate stuff and it's being done uh, uh, all around our nation and all around our community. Instead of having deacons, for instance, having a mindset of being servants, uh, which the, the, the deacon, that word literally from the Greek means to serve, to literally be a waiter. Hello, somebody. We have this concept of a deacon board uh, uh, to which uh, in our culture and society it is a great honor to serve on a board. Hello, somebody. And these boards have power. Hello, somebody. And we bring the concept, that concept in the household of the Lord, and, and instead of being servants of the Lord, we get up in here and we think we're part of some kind of corporate board, and we want to run the church like it's some corporate entity. Hello, somebody. No, 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 no. no. Now, that's sowing in the flesh. Come on, right. Hello, somebody. And it's the same thing with preachers. It's the same thing with preachers. I, I tell my preachers and use this illustration all the time. Uh, uh, back when I was in Bible school, I, I, I was a courier and I used to work for wingtip couriers. And, and the difference between us and other courier companies was that uh, I, I got to dress up in a uniform and wear a tie. 
But all I was when I showed up in the place yeah, uh, was yeah. just a messenger. Yeah, Hello, yeah. somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? They didn't worship the messenger. Hello, Hello somebody. somebody. They didn't put the messenger on a pedestal. Hello, somebody. Yeah. And, and I like to tell yeah. preachers, that's all I am today. I'm still a wingtip courier. Hello, somebody. Oh, and, and, and that's it. I, I'm not a god. Hello, somebody. I'm not a man that you should oh put on a pedestal. Hello, somebody. I'm a man just like you are. Hello, somebody. I just have a different task. I, I'm a wingtip courier, and that's my mindset. And a courier or a messenger is a what? Sir. Hello, somebody. I, I, I don't need somebody to carry my bags. I can carry my own bags. Hello, somebody. I'm not that special. I, oh, what, what did Jesus do? What did the text say before? We got into the text. Jesus said, I came as a servant. And if Jesus, the head of the church, came as a servant, then who, I wanted to use that H word, am I? Who the hell am I? That's all I am. And I'm going to touch on this 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 coming Sunday. And uh, uh, we're going to talk about uh, oh uh, something that I heard uh, last Sunday night about how uh, this preacher uh, called the, the pastor a coach. The preacher as a coach. And, and we're going to talk about that. Whether that is a, a real good term to use as a pastor, as a coach. We're going to talk about that later. But uh, for now, we know that Jesus said he was a servant. Man, man. And if you want to be fruitful in your ministry, you've got to stop showing in the flesh. Take on the position that you're supposed to have, which is a servant. Oh, I said, which is a servant. Right. And let's get God's work done. Right, right, right. That's the problem with most churches today. We got too many arrogant, oh, pig headed, big uh, ego people showing up in the church. Uh, and you yeah. can't get nothing done because everybody think they somebody. Nobody can get their hands dirty. You're right, you're Hello, somebody. Me, yeah, you, you have a whole lot of Indian chiefs. Uh, and guess what? And no Indians. And as a result, nothing can get done because everybody is somebody. Hello, somebody. No, you ain't nobody. <laughs> But the song says, I'm just nobody. Nobody, nobody trying to tell everybody, everybody what about, about somebody who can save anybody. So if we're going to be leaders, we've got to learn to sow right or, or to reap right. Uh, and the only way we're going to reap right is we've got to sow right and we've got to stop. In verse 8 it says, whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Come on. Come on. Whoever sows uh, to please the Spirit from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Amen. Cool. Amen. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. cool to see you, so if we are going to be the leaders that God called us to be, we're going to be the church that God calls us to. We've got to stop sowing to the flesh, even as leaders. Amen. Hello, somebody. Help me. Hello, somebody. Help me. I just said, preacher, I thought we were going to be talking about hope tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that you get your life right. Hello, somebody. I'm hoping that everybody gets their life right. From the pulpit up to the back of the door. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. This text in Hosea says, but you who plant what? Witness. You have what? Reap evil. Uh -huh. And you have eaten the fruit of what? Deception. Deception. Uh -huh. Because you have what? Depended upon what? Your own strength. Hello, somebody. And, 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 and your many warriors know the church is a spiritual institution and the best way to do church is depend upon the power of the Holy Spirit of God and not depend upon your own power. Amen. Right. Hello, 
somebody because in your own power some stuff just won't get done. As a matter of fact, God likes to put stuff out there into which the only way you can get it done is to depend upon his strength and his power. Hello, somebody. And, and that's why a lot of times he won't give you the whole picture up front. You've got to believe my faith. If you're going to build, we're going to build this building. God is not giving you the whole picture. All God is telling us to do is to get busy. All God is telling us to do is to get started and to step out in faith. Oh, and start this building in the spirit as opposed to starting in the flesh. Hello, somebody. Ooh, I said something. There's somebody need to get what I'm saying. Hello, somebody. That's if you good. already had the money, you can do it in your own flesh. There you go, yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Hello, somebody. <laughs> but if you're going to reap right, you got to sow right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. And that works not just for leaders. It works for anybody. Yeah, Any new believers yeah. that are in this place and, and want to live for God, you, you've got to sow in the Spirit and you'll reap. Yeah, that yeah. goes for that person that's thinking about tithing. Hello, mm -hmm. somebody. Let me get on this. Yeah, get on. Talk about the money part <laughs> of yeah, things. Hello, somebody. Oh, because the money really shows where your heart is. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Right. See, hey, you, 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 you got to believe by faith. <laughs> And you've got to sow your 10% by faith. Yeah, yeah. But you say, preacher, if I sow my 10%, somebody else won't get paid. Hello, somebody. Come on, come come on. on. Hello, somebody. Well, well, and I'm here to tell you that if, 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 if you pay your 10%, maybe, just maybe, everybody going to get paid. <laughs> Well, you say ain't no maybe to it, be. <laughs> say ain't no maybe to it if you put God first uh, and you sow. Uh, oh, that's this principle. Uh, it is, is an irrevocable principle. If you sow it, uh, you're going to reap it. Uh, there's no way to get around it. And, and why some of you are not blessed is because you haven't sown it. Hello, somebody. Oh, right and as a result, you're not reaping it. Hello, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody. <laughs> If you want to be right, you got to sow. Mm -hmm. Be right. Hello, somebody. You got to stop sowing in the flesh. You know, in the money, you sow in the flesh. You get tickets to, to go to the concerts. You get tickets to go to the football game. If you just uh, miss one game a month, you probably could pay your tithes. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Hello, somebody. You stop going to the casino. You probably could pay your tithes. You stop paying the lotto. Hello, somebody. Bam. Hello, somebody. You, uh, let, me bam, bam. Bam, bam. let me hit the numbers, Lord. Let me hit the numbers. And Lord, and, and the Lord is saying, I'm trying to hit your numbers. You give me that same money <laughs> that you're trying to hit with the lotto. Give that to me, and you'll reap what you sow. Hello, somebody. And you ain't going to hit the lotto, and you ain't going to have my help either because you ain't sowing right. Hello, somebody. That's right, really. Well. That's why you're broke. That's why you're broke. Say to your neighbor, 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 neighbor. I don't mean to tell your business. Don't tell your business. But that's why you're broke. <laughs> you want to be right. You got so right. You right. say milk can't trust your dad. Don't be careful. You want to you want to don't give me no more. Be right. You got to so right. If you're putting your money, all your money is going to the things of the flesh, stuff that will be, uh, oh, you know, we buy these new cars and can barely keep a car for two or three years because we think they old. Hello, somebody. Brand new car, three years old, and you think it's old. Hello, somebody. Got to go get a new one because it's out of style. Hello, somebody. How about try God in the spirit? Put your money into spiritual things. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yeah, go ahead and give God a hand clap of praise. Yeah. 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 You say, preacher, now I'm looking for that hope. Okay, let's, let's move get on. to the hope. <laughs> you gotta render right. The text says, yeah, do, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Come on, man. Hello, somebody. And then in verse 9 it says, Let us not become weary 
Doing and doing good. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. That sounds like that's something that's for the leaders. That sounds like that's something yeah, for the leaders. Really, something for everybody. But mm-hmm. since we're talking to leaders, yeah, uh, yeah. it says, "Let us not grow weary in doing good." Yeah. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> Many times, if you tell the truth, sometimes you just grow weary in doing good. Yeah. 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 You get sick and tired. Because you're looking at all the other people and it seems like they're doing wrong but they're being blessed and you're doing the best that you can and things don't seem to be going right for you and and you just get tired and you look at other folk and how they're living and you're living for the Lord and as a result you get weary. Hello somebody. Sometimes oh, you look at you're being faithful but you look at the results of what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, God didn't tell you to look at the results. God no told you to be faithful in what he calls you to do. Uh, yeah. Oh, and many preachers, they, they get upset. Uh, oh, that when the house is not full when they're preaching. Uh, and they get upset and say, Lord, nothing is being done. Uh, Lord, seems like the more that I preach, uh, oh, the less people come to church. Uh, yeah, oh, but, uh, but, 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 hey, let me hear, let me tell you now, sometimes, uh, Bible starts with subtraction. Hello, somebody. Uh-huh. Hello, somebody. Because you have a church full of hellions uh, and you preach uh, the hell out of them. Hello, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, somebody. It's not your job to look for the fruitfulness of it. All it is, your job is uh, to be uh, faithful. Uh, yeah. Oh, and God says uh, that if you're faithful over the little things, hello, somebody, then, and then one day uh, he'll be able to make you rulers uh, over many. So you don't have to look at the numbers. Uh, you don't have to look at uh, how many is coming. Uh, you don't have to look at uh, how much money is being given. Uh, all you got to do uh, is just look at the Lord to God yeah. of your salvation who saved you to serve. Uh, and if he saved you to serve, uh, then you need to serve uh, regardless uh, of what's going on uh, in other folks' life. Uh, you got to serve him uh, faithfully. You got to serve him. Uh, oh, uh, the old folk used to sing the song. Oh, uh, uh, we are the soldiers uh, in the army. We have to fight. Uh, although we have to cry, we got to hold up uh, the blood sand uh, We got to hold it up uh, until we die. Hello, somebody. They were tough of Christians uh, back then. Uh, we don't like uh, to carry that blood sand banner. We don't. We want to put the banner down. Uh, we want to give up uh, and we want to turn around. Uh, we want to run back uh, like Peter and them did. Uh, oh, and they went back fishing when they were supposed to be fishers of men. Uh, but God is saying to you, oh, if you're going to be a solid at Bethlehem this year in 2013, uh, you're being installed uh, for the duration. Uh, you're being so- installed uh, and you better not quit. Uh, say to your neighbor, neighbor! Oh, how can I quit? Hey, I don't quit on the boss, man. Hello, somebody. Oh, I don't quit on him. I show up every day. And guess what? I show up on time. I show up rain, sleet, or snow. Oh, I can remember when there was a snow. I can remember the factory, Kerwoods. They sent out a van to go out and pick up their workers. Because they weren't going to close the door. Hello, somebody. Oh, and that's what we work for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I said something that I said something. Like we actually work for him. Oh, and you do everything right. You serve. Oh, your job because what? Because you get paid. You get a check every Friday or every first of the month. You're getting paid. And that's what this text is saying tonight. You're getting paid for everything that you do for the Lord. You're going to reap what you have sown. And you get a check. Oh, it may not come on the first of the week. It may not come Friday, but you get a check to lead us. Oh, you're going to be rewarded for what you do for the Lord. And as a result, you should be faithful. Hello, somebody. Hello, 
Yeah, you're right. I remember when I used to work for the man, I was there every day. I was there every day on time. I was there rain, sleet, or snow. I, guess what? I hated being there, but I was there. Hello, somebody. I didn't like what I was doing, but I was there doing what I didn't like to do. Oh, because I was working for the man, and the man was paying me. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. And guess what? Even if I was running late, Hello, somebody. I yeah. called a man and said, hey, I'm running late. Come on, come on, Hello, somebody. We have to yeah. communicate. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Because you prioritize that which is important. And many times uh, you treat uh, your job uh, or the thing that you pour yourself into more important than you treat uh, the things of God. Uh, and that gets on my nerves. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Some stuff that you'll never do at work. Hello, somebody. Some work that you'll never do. At work, you got to have a certain level of excellence. Hello, yeah, somebody. Yeah. Hello, somebody. That's but yet you come to the church, uh, and there's no excellence uh, in anything that you do. Uh, it's left over when it's time for you to give a report. And by the way, we're going to have our church meeting uh, coming this next Wednesday. Right. And, and this time, why don't you write your report before you get in the sanctuary? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello somebody You're not working for the man And why he having his meeting Doing your report for his meeting If you is, you need to be fired Hello somebody Because you need to do things beforehand You need to prepare Hey, you need to let folk know that I take What I do serious for the Lord And I prepare for this thing It's not something that I did at the last minute There's something I did beforehand There's something I thought about There's something I prayed about There's something that I Doing it faithfully. Even if you have to serve the Lord in tears. And I wish I could say that. You won't get weary sometimes. I wish I could say that it's going to be easy. But I'll be telling you a lie, leaders. I'll be telling you a lie. Because the more effective that you become in the ministry, guess what? You've heard me say it many times. New levels, what? New levels. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. But, but you got to render right. Even when you're weary. Yeah, that's good, though. you got to keep going. Hello, somebody. Mine, mine. And that's what Psalms 126 says. Those who what? Sow in tears. What? Reap the songs of joy. What songs of joy? Mine, mine. 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 Did the, did the psalmist say that because you're crying, you need to quit? Hello, somebody. Many times we get our feelings hurt and we want to quit. People ain't doing right. We want to quit. They ain't listening right. They want to quit. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Doing the job. They, they, they won't do what you say, and you're the leader. They're trying to tell you what to do, and you want to quit. Come on. Hello, come on. somebody. No, 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 no. God said, no, no, I got, I got a remedy for this. You, you, you need to be faithful. Continue on in your work. Continue on in your faith. And you may have to have tears in your eyes. Hello, somebody. You may have to sow in tears. Hello, somebody. This Christian walk, and I'm talking to everybody now, they're just leaders. Sometimes, oh, you'll get tired in this Christian faith. Sometimes, you'll get weary in this Christian faith. Uh, we were talking to somebody yesterday, and, it, and I had to let them know that it's easy to do wrong. Hello, somebody. Oh, it's easy to do wrong, but, but it's hard to do right. Hello, somebody. And they were saying that, oh, when I wanted to do things, the wrong way, it was easy. But now, I've turned my life around. But now it seems like everything comes up. Oh, by, by being hard. Yes. Yes. This Christian walk is not easy. Come on, man. It's not easy. Right. You listen to the television preachers that tell you you're supposed to be blessed all the time. Oh, and if you sow into their fleshly ministry and go and get some of that spring water they be blessed with, hello somebody, you just put money in their pocket. Hello somebody, you're going to still have your own trials, your own tribulations. Hello somebody. 
Because in this life you're going to have troubles. You're going to have trials. Come on, man. But you've got to have a holy stick to itness. A spiritual mox. Man, man. Hello, somebody. Uh, a determination <laughs> to continue to serve the Lord regardless of yeah. what's going on in my life. Uh, to serve Him man, man. if my wife don't want to serve Him. Yeah. To come to church yeah. uh, if He don't want to come to church. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To come to church and to serve Him. Uh, oh, and even if everybody turned their back on you. Uh, hello, somebody. You gotta be faithful. Amen. Amen. And, and sowing tears. Somebody said that rain helps to grow the seeds. And many times when you're sowing in tears, your blessing will come earlier. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Because of the rain of your tears. Be faithful. Hello, somebody. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Or neighbor. Or neighbor. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. I want the leaders to be faithful. And I want the saints. Oh, who's trying to live right to be faithful. Yeah. Be faithful. Don't go weary in doing good. Don't, don't go weary in coming to Wednesday night Bible study. Don't go weary in coming to Sunday service. Don't go weary in coming to Sunday school. Don't, yeah. don't go weary in coming to Titus 2. Don't go weary in going to the Bible study. Don't you know these are the only places where you can sow into your spirit yeah. anywhere else that you go. Uh, if you go to a sooner game, uh, oh, it's not going to help you in your spirit. Uh, oh, if you go to the cowboy game, uh, it's not going to help you in your spirit. Uh, oh, if you take your, oh, your, 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 your young uh, uh, children to, oh, these other games uh, that they play, that's not going to help your spirit. Well. You've got to put yourself first uh, and get in the places uh, where you can sow into your spirit. Hello, somebody. <laughs> and, and needless to say, you need to pray. Every day to sow into your spirit. You need to read the Bible every day to sow into your spirit. Because uh, looking at uh, oh a scandal on Thursday night, that ain't gonna help your spirit. Yep. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. They gonna help your spirit. Hello, somebody. He said, preacher, you shouldn't say nothing about scandal. You <laughs> shouldn't say nothing about the, the housewives in Atlanta. <laughs> but none of that is spiritually oriented. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Those that sow in tears will reap the songs of joy. So let us not be weary in doing good. Man. Hello, somebody. Nah. Said, let us not be weary. Let us not. Hello, somebody. Preachers, let, let us not uh, go weary in preaching. Nah, Deacons, nah. Let, don't go weary in serving. Nah. Oh, us, don't go weary in standing. Come on, nah. don't go weary in singing. Nah, come on, oh, and nah. whatever it is. Oh, teachers of the Bible, don't go weary in teaching. Nah. Oh, don't grow weary. Yeah, keep doing good. Nah. Keep doing good. Nah. Nah. It's going to pay off. Yeah. In the end, yes, somebody. that's what the word says. It's going to pay off mm -hmm. in the end. Mm -hmm. and, and then you get the right reward. A, a reward right. Mm -hmm. Reward yeah. right. Hello, somebody. And he goes on to say this is the reward that's right. For at the proper time. Mm -hmm. right. yes, proper time. Hello, somebody. We will reap a harvest. If what? If we, we do not give up. King James says, faint not. Hello, somebody. And, and that's key to the Christian walk and the Christian faith. you got to keep sowing into the Spirit until you reap in the Spirit. You can't give up because God says that, that, that you ain't going to get no participatory uh, prize mm. in this race. Come on, come on. Come you know how, how we do everybody today and children That's today? Good, everybody today is a winner. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> if you have no losers, I'll let you out you, you. You came in last place, but you get this little certificate of reward for, for losing. <laughs> Can you give them a false sense uh, uh, of importance? Uh, hello, somebody, that I can be mediocre and still get a prize. Hello, somebody. God said, I don't give out mediocre prizes. Come on, come on, Doc. You got to finish to reap. Yeah. Finish. Hello, finish. somebody. Amen. 
And, and if you are at the end of the race and you stop, you get nothing. You get nothing. Hello, somebody. You get nothing. I heard this story told many, many times before about this, this miner who bought some land and believed that that he could. Well, now it was a, a, a miner, a, 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 a diamond miner. Mm-hmm. And he bought uh, some land and he believed that uh, these diamonds were in the in the mine, and he began to dig and dig and dug and. Kept on, on digging. Hello, somebody. And got tired. Didn't got tired <laughs> and gave up. Gave up. <laughs> Next guy came along. And then he sold the property. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah. Hello, somebody. You heard that one. Somebody. And the next guy terrible. got the property, did three, three, two feet, two feet two and five. struck. <laughs> 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 and became a billionaire. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's why, folks, people, you cannot give up, especially in the spiritual arena. You cannot give up. You've got to be faithful. You've got to see this thing to the end. For it says, for at the proper time or due time, when is due time? Whenever God says it's due, it's due time. Amen. In a proper time, we will what reap a harvest. If we don't we fight, give up. We don't give up. Hello, somebody. And I'm talking about leaders. Talking to leaders, don't give up and you reap a harvest. Amen. Talking to the regular Christian, don't don't give up. It seems like everybody else is getting by and making it, and they're doing the evil and wickedness, and they're prospering, and you are doing things right, and you're not getting paid as much. Oh, but the little that you get. 